So my name is Stuart Allen. I, I am a senior lecturer here at the University of Manchester. My name is Ingo Schiesel and I'm a lecturer at the Faculty of Life Sciences of the University of Manchester. So I often tell the students how easy they have it now uh, in terms of finding literature, although because when I, in my undergraduate days and indeed during my PhD, there was no online uh, database searching. You went to the library, they had a card index system where you could look for authors as well as for uh, journals or for the um, actual title of the article you wanted to look for. In the last 10 years it's been a revolution to be able to sit at your desk, <laughs> access titles of papers, journal contents and also now get full text. So you, I, I, to be honest, the last time I was in a library I couldn't tell you. If I could create my perfect research tool uh, to investigate um, literature from, uh, for uh, writing grants, for example, as I do in the moment, um, UK PubMed Central comes close to that. So what is it specifically that it enhances above PubMed? Well, I think one thing is that you have um, additional tools to um, reduce your search uh, in terms of uh, it allows you to select the species you're interested in, certain proteins, mediators, things like that. But if you go to the, the, the standard yeah. search first, one of the first things you see straight away is that unlike in uh, PubMed Central, you do not only have the abstracts and the publications of peer-reviewed journals, you do also have patents okay. related yeah, to your work. And what I find personally very useful, um, you have thesis on the topic in the uh, written and submitted in right. the UK. It, you know, if a thesis shows up here, that will allow us to get access to full text of the thesis if, if, yes, if, so, if it's so loaded up. Because as you say, there's a lot of stuff sometimes in a thesis which we don't, you know, which, which never gets published but can be very useful. Okay. And especially the, the, the things that didn't work. Yeah, exactly. The other additional information you get from your search is UK clinical guidelines. And this is information you would normally not see. So if you open um, that up, you have, uh, so to say, white papers of um, the NHS and um, the government. It's great the way it uh, comes up on the same window so you can actually see that there's the links are there to get to. And particularly you know, there's an increased uh, uh, requirement to show the translational nature of what you're doing. So if you can actually link it directly, that, that's really powerful. I've never seen these before, you know what I mean? Another very helpful tool now on the UK PubMed Central page is the clipboard. And you can save that clipboard, you know, over multiple sessions. You, yes, you leave it, is, it and you go back. It is. You have to export it though then if you want to. From looking at it today, and it looks great. Lots of enhanced functionality. The finding grants is great. The ability to, to click through to different uh, keywords is fantastic. And the enhanced, the PubMed Central Plus for grant reporting looks really great. So I'm certainly going to contact the MRC and get my, get my access to that.